what is up what is up so today i want to show you something really simple in busy lab note it's going to be a bit technical but you just have to follow me step by step as i guide you through right so it is how to design a simple carousel in busy lab carousel refers to the images that we post on instagram so that they become seamless even when you scroll through from slide to slide like the one showing on your screen right now okay so if you are ready to learn this and implement it then let's get into this so i'm going to start from scratch delete everything over here like this so the size that we are going to be using for instagram we're going to use the square image size for instagram but for us to set up the exact size on puzzle lab and get everything straight we will need to do a little bit of calculation right here so first off let's delete this test over here and after deleting it then we go back to this icon over here then from here we tap on image size now this is where we have to do the calculation now the image size that we're going to be using over here is supposed to be two times the the width of a square right so the square image size over here is already one two eight zero all right so this is one two eight zero by one two eight zero uh square image size now we need to increase the width by two all right so I, that would be like uh one two eight times two right so doing this will give us the required length or the width that we want for this design and once we progress you understand what we have to actually multiply this by two okay so let's do the calculation quickly and proceed all right so when we do the calculation this is what we are going to get for the for the width we are going to have like two five and six zero like this so we tap on done and we tap on okay so this is how our image size or our workspace will going to be like all right so from this point we can start designing now i'll just use one image to illustrate everything for you to understand it in a very simple way so just take your time follow me and let's do this together okay so i'll just change the image i mean the background color for this test or for this design i'll change it to white and i'll try to manipulate the background a little bit by adding some you know effect to it okay just like the one that i used in my previous tutorial i'm just going to add the same effect over here like this and see how best it's going to you know blend with the background i don't want just a plain background but i want something that i can actually you know fall on for some texture feeling right so i'm going to lock it over here once i've locked it i can go ahead and start bringing in the stuff that i want so let's say I want to design a carousel with some test like uh, let me just imagine something and put over here uh, uh, three best all right three best uh, design apps so three best I'll tap on ok done then tap on the capitalization test over there then tap on ok and give it the fonts like let's say Montserrat or one of these yeah good I, th I think I like this as a Acura expanded font and I'm going to increase the size of this a bit now what we have to also make use of is the grid tool over here so I'm going to tap on it make sure I activate it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete some of them so look at the ones that I'm going to delete so I'll have to tap on this settings icon over here then once this is highlighted I am going to delete it by tapping on this one over here so once i tap on it to get deleted tap on this one too tap on this tap on this but the middle one over here i'm not going to delete it it is the one that is going to guide me through my design so i'll jump over it and delete this one over here so now i'm okay i can leave this one over here like this good so now let's proceed with the design over here so a uh, three best design app so i'm just going to make a copy of it and edit it to design apps okay three best design apps tap on done okay so i'm going to reduce the size of this and see how best i can place it over here
I think this is okay. So at this stage, we are going to bring in the image that we want to put in our carousel. So I'm going to tap, I'm going to tap on the plus sign at the top over here, and I'm going to tap on from gallery. So once I tap on from gallery, I'm just going to pick up the image. So I'll just use this one as our case study. So I'll tap on a check mark. Once I tap on a check mark, the image will be imported like this. Now what I have to do now is to reduce the size of the image. So that's what I'm doing currently. I'm doing it manually without using the relative size tool. So I just want to put it over here. Now, this is the secret. Okay, this is the secret. Look at the position where I'm going to place this image. Okay, I'm placing it at or on this grid tool that we left over there, the grid line that we left over here. I'm placing the image over here for a good number of reasons. Okay, for a good number of reasons. So this is where the, the exact place that you can actually place your image such that if you want to post this as a carousel it will appear as the same image that is why we call it seamless carousel right seamless like it's it will be cut but it will not show like it has been cut it will show like a continuous you know design okay so you have to place it at the middle over here this is the secret so that's why i'm actually uh spending time talking about it so take note of it make sure you place it the, at the middle if you want to place an image place it at where the middle grid tool is okay so let me just enter some rough test over here and say something like save uh, this post now or save this now all right so i'm just assuming i want to put something over here like this and that is not bad so i'm just going to you know play with the style like this and maybe change the color to let's say blue yeah i think this is not bad so let's assume this is my carousel okay this is my carousel uh, that i'm actually going to design okay i don't want to be putting in much uh, details so that the video keep long i just want to illustrate something for you to understand okay so let's say this is a carousel that i'm going to design now i'm okay what i have to do now is to save this work okay is to save this work so save as image and you save it as ultra once you save it as ultra you are good to go now what you have to do is to tap on this icon over here once you tap on it tap on default meaning you're coming to start everything like all over again so you tap on ok and this is what you're going to have now you can take off your grid tool and go ahead and delete this test now the, the only thing that you have to do over here is to import the previous design that you've actually made okay the one that we just saved you're going to import it so we tap on a plus sign at the top here then we select from gallery and we pick up the design we just did so this is the design and what we are going to do over here that you actually have to take note of is we are going to use the one is to one aspect ratio the one is to one aspect ratio means it's a squared image okay this is going to give us a squared image now you know that we've multiplied this thing i mean the width of our design our working area by two in a previous design so when we divide it into this form it's going to give us a seamless you know carousel that we want so quickly let me tap on it and you see what you're going to get so once you have this over here like this your duty as a graphic designer as a busy lab user who is wanting to design a carousel is to move this to one side like this once you move it to one side like this guys take note of this okay take note of what i'm doing over here because if you not do this right you're not going to get the desired result if you leave it at the middle over here you're going to get a different result so make sure you push it you push it to this side then tap on a check mark like this after you tap on a check mark go ahead and use the relative size tool make sure you pull everything to 100 by 100 then you have it like this okay at this point you can tap on the save icon save this image okay save it as ultra as always save to gallery and come back select the image again okay select the image again once it is selected or highlighted go back to crop okay tap on crop you don't have to import it again so tap on crop and this time around push this to the other end like this 
it is very very simple guys and tap on a check mark so at this time you also go ahead and save it as ultra again now once you are done saving it over here that means your carousel is ready what you have to do now is to go ahead and post it onto your instagram feed and see how it is going to look and in the next few minutes i'm going to show you i'm going to actually post this on my instagram page as an illustration for you to see how it is going to work so watch me as i do that quickly now here we are on my instagram page and of course if you are not following me yet then you are probably missing out on some things okay there are some useful resources over here that can help you like the things that are actually killing your design over here you can actually come and check it out as well okay you can actually come and check all this out as well okay so let me just show you one example as well over here this is a previous design i made and you can see how it is like one image meanwhile it has been cut okay and there's another one too i think um where did i place that one right so i'm not saying right now i'll just you know show you what i want you to learn okay so i'll post the design we just made right now to post it i'll tap on a plus sign at the top over here and i'll tap on post now what i'm going to do is to make sure i select the first image which is this one which i mean the first part which is three best design apps that is the front okay and i'll tap on this icon over here once i tap on it it will allow me to select a different image and add it up so i'll start i'll select the second one which is this then i'll tap on the arrow showing at the top over here like this once i tap on it this is what i'm going to have okay so i'll go ahead and tap on the arrow again and we'll proceed from there now i can actually decide to post this uh, without a caption or so ever i can also post it to my facebook page if i want i can also post it to my twitter if i want so if you're not following me on twitter you can go ahead at serene ads underscore gh and on facebook it's serene ads okay or serene ads gh go ahead follow me on all social media and let's get interactive good so let me just post put the caption over here like test carousel or test yeah so i'll tap on a check mark at the top over here and once it is downloading then it will show up so let's see when it finished okay good it has finished uploading so this is it you can see that this particular image i mean the cartoon is showing like one okay even though we've cut it but there is nothing showing that we've cut this particular image i hope you you understand everything at this point now okay now if you do understand everything don't forget to actually hit that like button on the video it's actually you know boost the video and show it to other people who are also interested in learning something just like this one so okay go ahead and hit that like button and let's go so yeah i hope you've actually have something that you can actually pick out from this video so i'll see you in my next video and of course don't forget to follow me on instagram it's serene arts underscore gh okay there are so many stuff that you can actually learn from my post yeah